Newgrange was constructed around 3500 BCE. It is one of the largest megalithic structures in Ireland, 80 meters in diameter at its widest point. It is believed that agriculturalists in the area built it, but that is just speculation. The center chambers of Newgrange are held up by large stones stacked on top of one another, each one hanging slightly over into the center in a construction form called Corbel Vault. This style of construction has proven to withstand the test of time. Just beneath the grass roof are ancient gully systems to channel the water away from the chambers. These gully systems have kept the inside dry for over 5,000 years. It is really a mystery who built this marvelous structure, but whoever it was, they must have had a vast knowledge of astronomy and engineering. During the winter solstice, something magical happens at Newgrange. Sunlight shines directly down the hallway, illuminating the inner chambers inside for a full 17 minutes. This indicates that Newgrange was a passage tomb, used only for very important people. The layout of the hallway and center chambers very closely resemble the constellation Cygnus the Swan. Cygnus lies on a part of the Milky Way that opens up. It is believed that the afterlife lies there. So when the sunlight shines through the hallway on the winter solstice, it may have been interpreted as some sort of bridge to the afterlife. After all, who would build a tomb of this size and only bury five people in it? Not only is it big, but the attention to detail and extravagant construction methods used only strengthen this hypothesis. The five men buried there must have been very important, possibly leaders, kings, or priests. I believe Newgrange wasn't just constructed as a passage tomb. I believe it also served an astronomical or calendrical purpose. It also may have been built as a sanctuary where people could make offerings to the gods. Newgrange has a lot to do with astronomy. We have already learned about the significance of the winter solstice and Cygnus, but there are many other astronomical significances within Newgrange. One of them being the outer circle. Similar to that of Stonehenge, Newgrange's outer circle is made up of large stones. As you can see on this model I made here, the black dots resemble the 37 large stones that make up the outer circle. The ones that are circled with red marker are the only 12 that remain. The significance of this outer circle is unknown, but some speculate that this circle could have served some astronomic importance. Others believe it has served a calendrical importance. Moving inward, the famous curb stone at the entrance stands out with all of its spiral carvings. The same spiral design is engraved in the inside of Newgrange, facing the entrance. This serves another astronomical significance. As you may know, the Earth's tilt changes ever so slightly over extremely long periods of time. So back when Newgrange was built, the Earth's tilt was slightly different than today. This changes the spot where the sunlight lands in Newgrange's chamber. Back then, it landed directly on a spiral carving, similar to one from the curb stone. What did the stones of the outer circle do? What could this strange spiral mean? These are two questions we don't know the answer to. Lastly, Newgrange could have been built for people to make offerings to the gods. They obviously think Cygnus is of great importance. Maybe Cygnus was a god, or a symbol of a god, that they valued greatly. Or not so greatly, due to the few bodies found in the chambers. But they could have removed any animal remains from the chambers when they were done with the ceremony. Or, animals came and ate whatever they sacrificed in the chambers. Newgrange is quite a magnificent structure. The great engineering feats and astronomical importance of it proves that. So if you ever travel to Ireland, stop and see Newgrange. You would probably appreciate it more than you would due to your new knowledge.